I'm Indy Nidell. And I'm Spartacus Olson. And this is our World War II Crip. Yo. And this is a Time Ghost public announcement. See, it's been a little public service announcement. Thank you. It's been a little more than six weeks of World War II so far. And thanks to you all, it has been actually an amazing start. We're at over 110,000 subscribers and loads and loads of appreciation, which makes us really happy and really, really proud. Thank you all. And the coolest thing is, really, is the fantastic support we've actually gotten from all of you out there who've joined the Time Ghost Army on Patreon or directly via the TimeGhost.tv site. Thanks to your contribution, we can now start taking this thing to the next level. Well, yeah, as many of you know, we've been doing this, the two of us and Astrid. Say hello, Astrid. Astrid. Hello. Uh, well, more or less in our spare time until now. And we're starting to grow the team and get services from more people now. We have Ben and Sarvesh who are volunteering their time to help Sparty with editing. This means that Sparty can once again start focusing on Between Two Wars and also planning for the future. And yeah, and we're also adding our first full-time team member, Yoram. Who actually also worked with me on The Great War for a while. Okay. Yep. And this is Yoram. Hi there. My name is Yoram Appel and I'm an historian from the Netherlands. I'll be working at Time Ghost together with Indy, Spartacus and Astrid. A while ago, I finished my history masters, during which I worked at the Great War in Berlin. There I discovered the great strength that a dedicated community brings to documenting history. When I got home, I used this when I wrote my master thesis about collaborative history research using social media. I'll be taking this to the next level by using this at Time Ghost together with Indy, Spartacus, Astrid, and you guys. Nice to meet you. Uh, Yoram's going to work with us to create content for our non-video social media accounts and in developing our platforms so that you all get an even better community home. Thanks to Yoram, we will be growing our website, adding more posts on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and we will be increasing our activities on the Time Ghost Army forum. You might already have seen that Yoram has been posting more and more stuff on Facebook and Instagram, but you're about to get the first really new development with a format that we developed last night, actually, and that will go live this next week. I like it when we have these like, accidental brainstorming sessions. We'd had this business call with Yoram, and on the call, and a few glasses of wine, we came up with this. It seems obvious, but, you know, it's really cool. Mainly We're, because I had a really stupid idea of how to set up our social media. And yeah, and then it led into it. We shouted him down, and it led into this. So, okay, we are going to do another version of World War II in real time, but this one will be daily. This will be World War II in still images day by day on Instagram. It's going to be awesome pictures, scary pictures, beautiful pictures, touching, interesting, and informative pictures. A lot of with, pictures. There's going to be a lot of pictures. With a little bit of text to show the main event, or at least what we think uh, the most interesting event of World War II was on that day. Every day for the next six years. Man, we're, we're crazy, Sparty. Now we just don't know the difference between impossible and feasible. No idea. But... We do still need to grow our resources to be able to do World War II and also the other series like Between Two Wars and things that we want to do in the future at the level that they deserve. And the dream is to be able to afford a full team, uh, to be able to afford you know all kinds of cool graphics and animations, and to visit the actual World War II locations and film on location. Yes, absolutely. But with the support you've already given us, we're now at least starting to head down that road. So that's cool. Oh, uh, before we go, though, we want to address a few questions that we get repeatedly. Uh, the first one is, will Between Two Wars continue? It definitely will. Yes. Now that we're slowly getting more resources, I'm going to finish editing the episode we've already shot in the next few weeks, and then I'll get back to writing on new ones so that by the time World War II action starts getting really crazy next year, we will have covered a large portion of the interwar years. The next question is, why didn't you start in 2019 to make it 80 years ago? I got this one. Okay. Well, one, it really, really doesn't matter how many years ago exactly these events happen. It matters that we tell them in the chronological way, the week-by-week -week thing. That's what makes our approach unique. And also, and this is actually maybe even more important, who would feed and house us for a whole year so that we can, you know, work on this without making any videos? 
Yes, there is no way that we could have waited until next year. It has taken us a solid 10, almost 12 months to prepare World War II. And to do that, we used the early financial support we got from you and the income from other things like the Great War. Like my, my salary from the Great War. Some of you have said that we should have just done between two wars in that space, you know, between now and next year and stuff. And that was, originally that was the plan. But between two wars doesn't quite have the mass appeal. So Time Ghost wasn't growing fast enough without World War II for us to actually continue dedicating time for another year without, well, you know, starving. Uh, yeah, and then people often ask why we don't advertise this on The Great War. Well, while we started The Great War together, and I've written and hosted the whole series, that YouTube channel does not belong to us. It belongs to a company called MediaCraft that Astrid and I co-founded in 2011, but we left it in 2016. Now, MediaCraft funded the start of The Great War, which is a great thing that we're very grateful for, but as a result, they also own the channel. That means that we didn't have the possibility of doing new things based on the Great War without their permission. And not to mention that it, it, it feels a bit weird to have dedicated four plus years of my life to that and then not have the ownership of that product that I created. Which is why we started Time Ghost and the World War II thing as an independent thing. So it's, it's owned and controlled directly by the three of us. Yep, that's how it is. And, well, in any case, the current owners of MediaCrap won't let us advertise on their channels, which is regrettable, but quite understandable. It would be a bit like Pepsi allowing Coca-Cola to advertise Coke on Pepsi bottles. And they would be Pepsi bottles. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but anyhow, in the last six weeks since we started this, since this began, you guys have done so much to actually spread the word, so more and more of the Great War community has finally discovered us, and, you know, we can see that in the numbers and people writing in, so thank you very much for that. And please, please, keep on doing that. I'm still very confused about that Pepsi bottle. If you take a Coke <laughs> bottle and it says Pepsi on it, then it's a Pepsi bottle. It's full of Coke, but it's a Pepsi bottle. You've named it oh, Pepsi. Oh, yeah, okay. But I, oh, yeah, okay. I, I wanted to have a okay. Pepsi Coke bottle. But anyway, the last question we'll ask today, uh, well, the last question we'll answer today is, will there be an out-of-the-trenches style format for World War II? Yes, there will be an out-of-the-trenches style format for World War II, and it will be called Out of the Foxholes. That it will be. And we selected that name based on suggestions from you all in the recent weeks under our in our comments. Now, we won't be able to shoot the first episodes of Out of the Foxholes until sometime towards the end of the year or maybe even the beginning of next year. But we will start collecting questions already now on the Time Ghost Army Forum. In the coming days, we will post a link to the location so that you can start posting your questions. So we have them all in one place instead of in a zillion comments. But I think that's it, right? Uh, well, I guess we could go on forever, but you have a plane to catch. I, I do. I sure do, Sparty. Okay, then. So we will see you later this week with a new episode of World War II and soon with more Between Two Wars episodes. Oh, and I, I'm going to answer another question. People have been writing in saying, hey, when the phony war or the Boer War gets started, when there's not like action, much action in the field this fall and this winter, what are you going to cover? Here's the thing. There is so much awesome stuff to cover. I can I can catch up on what came before and cover all kinds of things like the swashbuckling high seas adventure, new technology, the background of why Stalin was Stalin, things like that. It's going to be really the the episodes this winter are they're they're getting better and better even when there's less stuff happening in the field. Right? So once again. Thanks for the great reception and support so far. We still have a long way to go before we do this the way we would like and you would love to see. So if you haven't already, you can. Join the Time Ghost Army on Patreon or directly at timeghost.tv to support an even bigger war effort. See, see you, you next, next time. time.